Welcome to Legacy Unveiled, where the legacy-focused woman discovers the power of unapologetic self-expression. I'm your host, Al Nash, founder of the Unapologetic Women of Empowerment Dynasty. Join us on a poetic journey of self-discovery, celebrating the magnificence of being unapologetically you. Hey darling, do you ever experience those moments when you overthink it to death? Those moments of slight distrust in the flow, when you think to yourself, you have to take charge of the process and make it happen. (laughs) Me too. In fact, that's exactly how today's piece started. Me sitting here thinking I have to write something profound, provocative, as if I could write anything but when I allow myself to step out of the way and let it flow through. Our conditioning runs deep, my friend. Our conditioning which states I have to prove I can do this. Our conditioning which states I have to get it just right. Our conditioning which states If I don't astound you, delight you, amaze you, you will no longer like me. And oh, be Jesus balls, you will abandon me. Hmm. The age-old fear of judgment leading to abandonment of the tribe, expelling you for speaking your mind, for being different than the average, for living in a state of possibility rather than their state of reality. And if they choose to kick you out into the wilderness, into the dark, you will not return and the story will be told that you perished alone, lonely, meeting a horrible demise. But what if that's not true? What if expulsion from the tribe allows you to wander free into a space undefined by previous paradigms? What if expulsion from the non-acceptance of you tribe allows you to find a pack of wolf women who not only accept all of you, but who appreciates all of you, who loves all of your weird and wonderful quirks and in this you finally unleash yourself from the fear of expulsion and find a space of true belonging. What if the very fear keeping you in captivity is the fear that will liberate you if only you would trust? It doesn't mean you get to escape the human experience. It doesn't mean you get to bypass all of our fabulous moments of doubt and insecurity. It doesn't mean you never again hesitate in overthinking. Why would you want to? It's so much more fun when you catch yourself in these old patterns and burst out laughing with genuine humor at your human moments. No biggie, girlfriend. You're not dead yet. And in my book, it's a damn good reason to celebrate my human moments. All you need to do is become aware and then choose flow. This is how I choose to live my legacy. Unleashed, unlimited, unapologetic. You are adored, Al. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Legacy Unveiled. We hope you found inspiration and insights to embrace your essence and unveil your legacy. If this message resonates with you, we invite you to take action. Reach out to us, connect with me by emailing l at unapologetic-women.com. Your legacy is waiting to be unveiled. As we conclude, remember that your unapologetic journey continues. Let's meet again in the next episode. Until then, live your legacy, unleashed, unlimited, unapologetic.